Hi, this is Jeremy with Practical IT. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at Zential Linux, available at zentyal.org slash server. Zential is a Linux-based OS that is made to replace the Windows Small Business Server and is a great choice for small businesses, new businesses, and nonprofits. Let's get started. All right, here we are at the Zential website, and we're looking at the uh, some of the screenshots. Zential will do Active Directory, it will do file sharing, it will do email and all kinds of things that you may normally have seen done on a Windows server. With that in mind, let's get started on our install and while we're waiting for that to go uh, to complete, we will come back and take another look at some of the features. Okay, so I've already put together the shell of the VM and we'll just go ahead and click start. Once this is moving along, we will move back to our website and take a look. So English, we are going to install the development version and delete everything on the disk, even though it's already empty because it's a virtual machine. So we'll let that rip. English US English US Okay, we'll go ahead and just leave this as the default host name of Zential Username and Password time zone is good and in case you haven't been paying attention, we are running VirtualBox 6.0, release candidate one. I was having some issues with the 5.22 version, and so I thought I would take the risk and jump up to the latest and greatest uh, since the release candidate is out. See if we get the final product before Christmas or before New Year's or if it comes sometime in early January. And I'll be back in just a few moments. Hit continue. And we should reboot here in just a moment. First boot attempt for Zential 6.0, installing core packages. All right, we are in the install wizard and we're looking at some of the modules available. Uh, let's do antivirus, let's do domain controller and file sharing, and that should include the DNS, DHCP, and firewall stuff. So let's go ahead and click install. And so it'll tell you what pieces are being installed. Continue again, and it will go through its process here and we'll come back in a few moments when this has wrapped up all right we're coming down the home stretch we're at 92 percent this should be done in just another moment or two while we're waiting on that let's see if we can't take a look at some of the features that are available in Zential. So again, directory and domain server, mail server, gateway infrastructure. Lots of 
features. You can get a 45 day free, free trial of the, what would normally be the paid version. Uh, they do have partners. Let's see if they've got anybody in the US. Uh, New Orleans looks like is our only US partner. Initial configuration wizard. So Ethernet uh, external interfaces connect to networks that are not under your control. Typically the internet traffic coming from external networks is not chosen by default. Not being able to connect to the central administration page through them. So we're going to leave this as internal and we'll probably have to add a second network card later on. So DHCP standalone server central domain dot LAN that's fine. And we're going to install some more modules. So I did see something interesting here. Commercial edition is supported for four and a half years. Uh, makes me wonder if that will change since uh, the newest version, LTS version of Ubuntu is supported for 10 years. It was announced earlier this year. I wonder if Zenshal will follow suit and offer a longer term support than just the four and a half. That will be interesting and I will report back if I find any information on that. Given the length of time this is taking to install, we will of course do a follow-up video and go through some of the configuration tasks in Zenshal. Uh, things like installing the pieces like installing the virtual box guest modules and being able to get a full size screen instead of this little 800 by 600 or whatever they're limiting us to. Uh, you would think with it being almost 2019 that um, you know maybe it's time to have Linux detect uh, different versions of different distributions of Linux detect if they're running in a hypervisor and um, act accordingly uh, but I believe that has to do with some of the uh, licensing for VMware and VirtualBox I think there's better ways it can be done though all right so this is our dashboard and it is currently checking for updates and of course there are updates available so we'll at least get things updated and poke around in the interface a little bit more and then in our next Zential video, we will come back and do some configuration and uh, see what we can do with this. I've got a couple of ideas of where I can use this already. If it tests out well, then I may be looking at um, deploying this and see how it works in an actual uh, production environment for for a particular use case. This is not a substantially different install process than some of the other Linux distributions we've looked at, but it's enough different and Zenshal, uh, at least from my experience, Zenshal does not have the uh, market penetration, the mindset behind it uh, at least here in the States, um, where I feel like I can just not cover the installation process at all. Um, 
with that all being said, in the future, as newer versions of Zentral come out, um, we will probably not go through this whole um, install process again, but I like having at least one set of videos that I can point complete beginners to and have basically an end to end walkthrough of this process. Let's see what we've got here. Packages installation has finished successfully. Administration in interface may become unresponsive for a few seconds. Please wait patiently until the system has been fully configured. So let's try update list. Hopefully that will reflect that we've installed these. It, it's interesting to me, uh, having had past training on Windows Server, it's interesting to me that with the um, further proliferation of different Linux-based small business server type products, um, our friends in Redmond, Washington have this, what, a year ago, maybe, not quite a year ago, uh, they had a project called Honolulu, which turned into, when they released it, it turned into a web-based administration for Windows Server. And, you, you know, I, I just find that interesting because the, the Linux guys have been doing this for a long time and it took until, you know, 2017, 2018 time frame for, you know, our, our friends on the West Coast to really get on the bandwagon and make things more accessible. So, you know, you're no longer required to be running a Windows machine to administer a Windows server. You can be on a Mac or a Linux box or, you know, potentially on a mobile device and still be able to do management of Windows server. And this is, you know, quite a step forward. So, let's see, to wrap up, you know, we'll just run down our list of items on this left hand menu. Your dashboard is your general information. Um, by the time I do the next video I'll have added a second network card and I'll do a little bit of tweaking here but not too much. Um, module status so it tells you what services are up and running. Very clean system, general time date, Configuration backup, uh, halt and reboot, which we'll use in just a moment. Network, your basic stuff that you see normally under network interfaces, gateways, DNS, objects, services, static routes, and tools. Logs, self explanatory. Software management, essential components, system updates, and settings. And then getting into more of the Active Directory type things here. Users and computers, domain, file sharing, DNS, and firewall. And yes, that says SNAT, not SNOT. Okay, um, so for the first video in our Zential, what's probably gonna be a three video series, more or less we have completed our basic installation so we will go ahead and shut her down now if you are using an old and unsupported version of windows server if you're a startup a nonprofit, a very small business and you know you want to set up a base infrastructure and you know if you're using used equipment or inexpensive equipment Zential may just be the solution that you want to consider. There are support options available. There is a paid version available. Um, it's worth a consideration if you want to have stuff on premise. Your other options include things like Jump Cloud or you know moving to other cloud-based 
management options for your devices and your business. On that note, I am going to cut this off here. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and feel free to leave comments below. If you have a specific question related to Zenshul, get down to the comment section and leave that for me and I will do my very best to address that in a future video. Until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great day.